So, sticking with the current theme that I'm going with, speakers, we will be looking at a speaker box in this video versus an actual driver. The driver inside the speaker box is a Dayton Audio 8-inch subwoofer. I'll put the model number up here somewhere. I don't have it exactly off the top of my head. The box is constructed of PLA in a very low density infill, and then I filled it with concrete and topped it off with resin. It's put together in four individual parts, as you'll see. Um, so yeah, we will jump right into the build. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, I'll see you back here in a little bit.
should be caught up to me now. You watched the start to finish build of the speaker box here. I kind of wanted to go over materials used and why I built it the way that I built it. So I'll start with materials used. The plastic is just standard run of the mill PLA. I did it in a very low infill, but I did it gyroid so that the stuff I poured inside had something to grab onto and that I could get it filled in without any air gaps or minimal air gaps. As far as the stuff I used to fill it, it was just a self-leveling concrete and then a two-part epoxy resin to top it off. Beyond that, the exterior is just um, sandable primer. I did body filler and then sandable primer to smooth it all out. Then I did a rattle can black and then a I believe it's a two-part clear inside of a can that you can buy. It's a 2K clear. And that is the exterior finish on this. And now I'm gonna talk about why I built it in four pieces. So first and foremost, each one of these pieces, a quarter of it, was taking approximately 600 to 700 grams of plastic per piece eight pieces at 700 grams that's 5600 grams of plastic so that was quite a bit of plastic for me to come up with on one spool so instead of setting up a machine for five kilogram spool and then finishing it out with a one kilogram spool as it's a pretty tight area I decided to just print in sections small enough that I could get away with doing one kilogram spools. And then I would just save that other 400, 300 grams of filament for other projects. The other thing is because I filled this with concrete, I didn't know how the air would escape. And I also knew that you could only pour self-leveling concrete so thick. And so, by working in shorter sections, I could fill each section up half, and I would only have to do two pours, where if I did a whole box, I would have had to do like eight pours to do concrete inside there for it to give it time to air out, because I gave it about a week to a week and a half between pours to air out. So I had about two weeks of printing, and then pour and then I waited a week and then I poured again and then I waited a whole two weeks and then I poured resin I gave it one week to cure and then I went to assembly and sanding so that's why this project has took so long to get out and it's also why some of my other videos have been pushed back so I'm gonna try to release two videos this time um, kind of sequentially this video and then the next speaker so that's kind of my plan moving forward right now um but that's all i really wanted to talk to about this uh we will move on to the actual audio testing here i compare the old speaker box to the new speaker box we can see if i made it better if i made it worse so we will do that and i will see you back here for yeah the to tie up all the loose ends here Okay, so we looked at the speaker comparisons, kind of, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. This guy performs a little better in more of a usable range, I feel. The larger box was better at producing, like, subsonic frequencies, which a bigger box would produce better subsonic frequencies, which I'm okay giving up some of that for a smaller form factor as well as just a better aesthetic in my living room. So I'm very happy with the project. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. Um, 
I spent a lot of time trying to work out any bugs and kinks that I could find throughout the process, so I will post up any hints and tips that I have if you want to try something like this in the uh, description of the video. Otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And yeah, thanks for watching.